finished product of the couch that I put together. I like it how we protect our furniture. We learned the hard way. We lost a couch or a, a very important cushion. And we found that you can actually keep your dogs away from material products, couches, uh, sheets, curtains, whatever, with essential oil citrus smells. And there's this product that we got. Okay, Angry Orange. It smells delightful. And you know what? It works. It works. You just kind of spray the couch down. So just let that dry and the dogs won't, they won't get up on it and they sure as heck won't bite at it. I do make sure to get the front also because it's a fair game with my dogs, but we just got it off Amazon. It's awesome. I'll put a link down below because this has saved us already. Okay, so this actually came yesterday, but I had no more oomph left in me, so um, I had to put it out here for today. But this is probably the piece that I'm the most excited about because that is going to take our whelping area from like, I don't know, it's gonna step it up a notch. We'll just leave it at that. Um, we're getting ready to have the two litters at the same time. Sophia Fox is due se uh, February 7th, and then Ari is due uh, February 24th. So we've got two litters coming up, and they are going to be in this area at the same time for six weeks. So we had to figure out a way to be able to utilize this space for two litters while still giving the mothers their own privacy um, at that beginning stages and parts. Um, and then also a way that we can kind of keep certain puppies in a smaller play area while the older ones get the larger play area. And then when they finally get their shots, we can let them play together. So. Um, it's going to be really exciting and it's going to be a lot of work and it's my first time doing it, but I'm excited for the challenge and uh, all the things it's going to teach me because honestly, that's what life is about is learning as we go and this is my first, so it's going to give me a lot of firsts for learning, uh, but I'll be able to expand upon that knowledge from there and uh, help anyone else who is coming up with these challenges. So once again, if you guys are a breeder or anything like that, I would absolutely love to communicate with you. Um, it's good to have uh, people in the same business to be able to discuss things with every once in a while. And I promise I'm a nice person, I won't bite. Um, and I always kind of look forward to um, putting other relationships in place and kind of helping people out and sometimes being able to bounce ideas off of them myself. So, uh, but here's the Artemis Wobbing Box. This is going to be the Louis style. So this is not only just the whelping box and an extended play yard, but it's got another section that comes off on the side. So it's adding 11 panels to uh, the ones that I already have. And we are gonna be making this like a luxury suite for these puppies.
All right, I had to really stop and think about this because puppy's gonna be here in February. It's a cold month. The door's right there. I wanna keep the litters as far away from the door as possible. And also make it accessible for them to have a play yard together when they graduate from the regular play yard and then have like a communal area. So I had to stop and rethink this, but I'm gonna start shifting it around again. Okay, so this is how I've got it set up. I'm changing the camera around. Okay, so <clears throat> both the females will have their traditional whelping area. So there's going to be the box that they actually whelp in and then an extended play yard as the puppies grow. Um, and then an entrance into the large, uh, shared area, which is going to be the mother's lounge area that transfers into like the large puppy play area. And then other will have her area over here and she will have access to the large area as well. So we'll get the mother stuff set up in here first after we get things cleaned and sanitized. And um, then we'll get like the raised bed and all that kind of stuff over here and start getting things uh, set up in each of the boxes as well.
All right, if you're gonna be using the Artemis welding box and you know exactly the configuration that you're gonna use, like you've got just the welding box and the play yard, so you know it's just two squares, um, you can go ahead and put on all the toppers and the bottoms and everything like that. What I'm gonna do is going to, or what I did was I left all those off because <laughs> You saw how many times I changed my mind and moved things around and it makes it so much more difficult. So uh, I always leave them off and then when they are in their final position, that's when I'll decide to put the tops and the bottoms are on. Um, there are a couple areas that we are going to be uh, putting up baby monitors uh, so that we can monitor puppies at all times. Um, and also a couple covers uh, just because the dogs find comfort in cover. So we're gonna uh, triangle out what their uh, main whopping box and give them some area of cover. But uh, I've just vacuumed and I'm going to go over with the rescue spray. Uh, it's the vet grade clear. So this is just a uh, sanitizer that is uh, safe for uh, animals and puppies and they use this at the vet's office and I'm going to spray everything down all of the surface area um, and make sure everything is clean and sanitized. Okay, so the new kit came with uh, new pig rails, but I already have to put together uh, out in the shed, so I'm just gonna sanitize and wipe these down, and then I'm gonna start getting the uh, bottoms that secure the pig rail, which this is what uh, allows the puppy to escape from mama if she uh, lays down on them. There's uh, always a little uh, crevice in the back that they can wiggle out to, and this saves puppies' lives. Um, even though we keep an eye on these guys with listening and seeing on monitors anytime that we're not in here, even though we're in here a lot of the time. Um, but I'm going to get these uh, pig rails put in and secured and I'm just going to put the ones that aren't put together because they take up less space up and um, then I'm going to show you the finished product. Okay, so for the pig rail, it is kind of a tight fit and it kind of needs to be. It's just uh, real fitted in there. So the box comes with footers that reach the bottom of this pole and then stabilize the pig rail inside so it can't get shifted in around. Okay, so this is our end results with the Artemis Welping Box, which I absolutely love that it's just so modular. I've got it set up right now. So first litter will be here, entrance point here for mama. And this back one back here will be Welping Box back there and um, entrance point right here. Um, will gain access to this area 
Um, I'll probably move that there for a couple weeks. But uh, that way Mama has this whole area to hang out and relax. We'll get some food and some water set up, a um, couple toys, um, nice soft blanket, uh, just a way for her to be by the puppies but not actually in with the puppies. Um, and so I, I've got to say, hands down, Artemis Whelping Box, I'm, I'm all in. I like it.